Shani Presley and welcome to another episode of The Word to the World. Today we're going to be reading Genesis chapter 37 verses 19 through 36 in the New King James Version. Again, we're going to be reading Genesis 37 verses 19 through 36 in the New King James Version. Let's get started. Then they said to one another, look, this dreamer is coming. Come therefore. Let us not kill him and cast him into some pit, and we shall say, some wild beasts have defiled him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. But Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands and said, let us not kill him. And Reuben said to them, shed no blood, but cast him into this pit, which is in the wilderness, and do not lay a hand on him that he might deliver him out of their hands and bring him back to his father. So it came to pass when Joseph had come to his brothers that they stripped Joseph of his tunic, the tunic of many colors that was on him. Then they told him, they took him and cast him into a pit and the pit was empty. There was no water in it and they sat down to eat a meal. Then they lifted their eyes and looked, and there was a company of Ishmaelites coming from Gilad with their camels, bearing spices, balm, and myrrh, on their way to carry them to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, what profit is there if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh. And his brothers listened. This Edomite traitors passed by. So the brothers pulled Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shingles of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. Then Reuben returned to the pit and indeed, Joseph was not in the pit and he tore his clothes and he returned to his brothers and said, the lad is no more and I, where shall I go? So they took Joseph's tunic, killed the kid of the goats and dipped the tunic in the blood. Then they sent the tunic of many colors and they brought it to their father and said, we have found this. Do you know whether it is your son's tunic or not? And he recognized it and said, It is my son's tunic. A wild beast has devoured him. Without doubt, Joseph is torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his clothes, put sackcloth on his waist, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters arose to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, For I shall go down into the grave to my son in mourning. Thus his father wept for him. Now the Midianites had sold him to Egypt to Potiphar, the officer of Pharaoh and captain of the grounds. Thus I read to you Genesis chapter 37 verses 19 through 36 in the New King James Version. I hope you've enjoyed it and come back for another reading of the word to the world. See you later. Be blessed. Bye.